Yeah. It's a laser cut Tron gear clock, which in my opinion is like triple cool. Now, what am I going to do about this mess? I have got too many 3D printers, which as problems go is a pretty good one to have, but I need I need to clear out clear it out. I need to make some space need to make some space in my life so that I can work on some cool projects. So I am right now announcing March Madness wherein I'm putting everything else on hold and for the remainder of the month of March I'm just going to review all of these printers and let you know how I feel about them right now. A lot of these 3D printers were sent to me by manufacturers and retailers with the idea that they wanted me to tell you about them and, and you know, of course, make you want to buy them. But some of these printers, I just have never finished reviewing. There's a lot to do with them and, and I just can't find the time. And some of them don't work as expected and I have to put more time and effort into them than I really want to. And so they're just sitting here waiting for me to find the time that I'm never going to find to work on them. And in the meanwhile, what are we going to do? So forget it. Wherever they are, whatever state they're in right now, however they work, I'm going to tell you about them. And if in the future my opinion cha changes on them, I'll try to tell you that too. But right now, March Madness is beginning, and this is where you're going to see it. These videos are going to be quickly recorded, minimally edited. I'm just getting them out. You're getting my thoughts and feelings. So make sure that you check my blog because I'm going to forget stuff as I'm rattling off information about these videos. I'm going to do a lot of these videos all at once. So make sure to check my blog about them. But this, uh, this is kind of a little bit short for a video just announcing March Madness. So I want to also react a little bit to a previous video. In a previous video, I defended uh, my, my uh, association with Gearbest, with a Chinese shipping company who's putting a lot of cheap 3D printers out there. And uh, I got a lot of backlash for that video. A lot of people telling me about their experience with Gearbest, about their terrible experiences with Gearbest. And I want you to know that I have heard, uh, I've heard what you're saying. And, and I understand that a lot of people have had a negative experience. I talked a little bit about that video, uh, the experience of shopping with Chinese companies. And if you're not used to that, then you should maybe avoid the experience. But I didn't talk about what that experience is. Now, my friends at the 3D Printing Today podcast in episode 213 did a really cool segment about buying from uh, China but they were talking specifically about buying at a website called Alibaba. And Alibaba has some checks in it that kind of protect you as a consumer. Uh, so it doesn't necessarily apply if you're buying from other websites like Gearbest, but I still think it's a really cool segment. So I hope that you'll hit the description and check that out. However, I don't want to bog down this video with a lot of, of quite frankly, really heavy uh, details about the things that I've learned about shipping from China and things that I've learned from you guys. So I'm just going to say this. I'm going to put in the, sh in the comments a link to my blog where I'm going to write up the things that I have learned. And so if you want to know what to expect when you're buying from China, be sure to hit my blog, check that out, and then uh, you'll you maybe have a little bit more uh, understanding and expectation and hopefully if not have a good experience at least be braced for the experience that you're going to have but do keep in mind that most of the experiences most people have are good if that were not the case they would not be in business so go ahead and hit my blog you can see that and let's get on with March Madness as always I want to thank you very much for watching and I want to remind you, safety first. See you next time. Do you want to know more about 3D printing but don't know where to start? 
Or did you buy a 3D printer, but you need some help getting it going? Don't panic. The Beginner's Guide to the 3D Printing Galaxy is here, now, for you. Buy it on Amazon.